I'm gonna show you how to make a robot out of this little box. Oh, great! A robot! <laughs> Good one! But first, let's make a work drawing. Close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. A box is the perfect shape for a robot. All you need to add is a pair of big eyes, square ears, mechanical arms with a screwdriver and a wrench, a mouth, speaker, and a belt at the bottom. Then you will have a fantastic robot. We start by drawing some guidelines for some straight cuts. Grab a ruler and draw some straight lines running parallel to the top of the box. How big depends on the size of your box, as long as you get the overall shape of the lines right. Continue these lines around the sides of the box. This is how they should look when finished. Now, put some sticky tape over the flaps. This is just to hold the box together, but I also think it looks kind of cool here. Now we are ready to... Cut! Find an adult who can help you cut along the lines and around the sides. Pushing gently so you get a mouth shape like this, going in. See how easy it is to push the cardboard in. We end up with a nice square mouth. This is how it should look. Add! Then we prepare and add all the other body parts. Get a large piece of cardboard to draw on. First, the large round eyes. With large round pupils. Then, two square ears. A round speaker and one tooth. Finally, the mechanical arms. When you've drawn everything with a pencil, you can go over the lines again with a thick marker pen. Here are some pieces I cut out earlier. This is how they should look. Let's glue them on. First, the eyes. They go close to the top and out over the sides of the box. Next, the ears. Make a fold. Dab some glue on. And stick the ears on each side. Glue on the tooth. And the speaker on the middle of the chest. The arms also need a fold before you glue them on. If the parts don't stick straight away, either press them on firmly for a bit or hold them down with some sticky tape until the glue dries. Yo hey, it's starting to look good! Draw! Now. 
we can draw up all the details of the robot. You can draw pretty much whatever you want to make your robot look cool. Personally, I think mechanical stuff like bolts and screws are really great. Here's a tip. Have a look at some other machines, vehicles and so on to get some inspiration. I also think metal panels, fastened with big thick screws, look really good. Imagine all the cogs, wheels, gears and mechanical stuff behind that. I now finish the belt, which goes all the way around the robot. I'm using a marker pen, but you could also use a thin brush with black paint. to draw an open panel so we can see some of the strange machine parts inside the robot. Tubes, cables, all kinds of stuff. It's good to draw on the back of the robot parts as well, so it looks good from all angles. Now it's time to paint it. Let's start with a greyish brown mix, thinned out with some water. The water makes the paint a bit transparent, so you can see the cardboard through the paint. Use this color everywhere you want to have a dark cardboard type color. In around the machine parts, I want to use black, which I will color in with my marker pen. You can also do this with a brush and some paint. Mix some water into the paint to lighten it a bit more, and use it wherever you need a light layer of color. Switching between dark and light shades of paint gives a more three-dimensional effect. I'll do the same with white paint to brighten up the cardboard here and there. The tooth should be whiter, so I'll use more paint and less water. Now for a black ring around the eyes. This gives good contrast. I want the pupils to shine, so I'll paint them a light yellow. Finally, some more details in white. The robot is done! Let's see it one more time. First, draw lines that to cut out and stick on a piece of tape. Then cut out and push the mouth in. Then draw and cut out all the parts needed. Then glue them on. Next, draw the fine details. Finally, paint a robot in cool colors. You can also turn your robot into a mobile charger. Cut along the red lines and gently push in to make a small shelf for a mobile phone. Then make a hole in the back and one at the top so you can thread your charging cable through. Hey, how about you, Box? Got any more ideas? Of course! You can use the same method to make other useful things, such as this mobile charger bed. This mobile 
I'll charge a bat. Oh, these mobile charger false teeth. Yep, Box did it again. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Excuse me. Box yourself, this is Einstein. How may I help you? Oh, yeah, on Thursday? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I can deliver. How many boxes? A hundred. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Hey, it's me again! Be sure to check out my other videos like this one!